I wanted to take a moment to show you Gemini 2 Flash Experimental. And just a disclaimer, this is an experimental model, which means that you may experience some errors occasionally. And that's from Google's end because it's not a fully featured model yet. But it is exciting because it's the first multimodal model that we've had access to that can actually output images from the model itself. So it's called Gemini 2 Flash Experimental. You'll need to have it selected for it to work with everything I'm about to show you. And we've made it a wide icon just so it's really easy to distinguish when you go to select it. So first step is make sure it's selected. And then let me show you now some of the cool things it can do. So I'm gonna drag a photo of myself in from my desktop here. And I'm gonna just say, remove the background. What I love about this model is it's literally the first model that feels like you're in the minority report or something like that. It, you can just literally tell it to do things and it, it, it can do them with an image and it seems to have a really good understanding of what you want done. Okay, so you can see it removed the background. Pretty cool, not bad at all. So I'm gonna enable voice mode now and this is where I think it gets really sci-fi. So now I can say, make the background look like the person is on Mars. Okay, so now I'm on Mars and you can just keep asking it to make changes to the image. Now put a silly mustache on the person. Okay, so not bad. I already have a silly mustache, so this is just a, a further addition to that. Um, okay, so the next step is we're going to put some text on it. Put some text that says, I'm on Mars, yay. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm fairly happy with this. And I know it's ridiculously silly, but you can just see where this is going to go, where you'll be able to literally, in this case, just ask it to make changes to an image and maybe even video in the future. Let's look at some more interesting examples where we take two images now. So I've got an image of Ed Sheeran and I've got an image of the internal of a house. And I'm going to say, put the man inside the lounge, lounge room. Okay, so you can see it's maybe not in the right perspective, but it did work. It was able to take this image of Ed Sheeran, this lounge room, and, uh, and fuse these images together and put Ed Sheeran in the lounge room. And so now we could go a step further. I'll re-enable voice here and I'll say, put a mustache on the man. Okay, so <laughs> the, the image quality is degrading a little bit, but it, it was able to put a mustache on Ed Sheeran here. So the instruction following in this model is just absolutely incredible and really exciting. And obviously the quality will improve over time. It does seem to degrade a little bit if the image is more complex. So it works really well for simple images. Let's take another image of myself. And I think this is one of the most exciting use cases is just creating images for marketing material or making small edits to images really quickly. So I'll put, um, I'll say, create some wacky text on this image. Mark's, uh, Mark sale now on. All right, not bad. I think this would be great for social media or something if you were uh, having a sale on margaritas. So let me show you some other cool use cases. So I've got a olden day photo of Sydney in Australia here and you can literally just say colorize this image. So get Gemini in this case to interpret the image and apply colors to that very image and bring it to life. All right, so it's done a pretty good job. It's taken the black and white image and look at that. I can transition it and see. It has lost a little bit of detail, but it's still pretty cool if you want to bring color to an image and have an interpretation of it. So one thing Gemini 2 Flash Experimental can do really well is actually work with other skills. So say we wanted to create an image in Flux. For example, we can say here, a woman modeling a hat. Okay, now we'll create a second image and we'll say a man modeling a hat. Okay, so now we'll say put the man and woman together. So that's pretty, pretty incredible. It's able to change where they're looking, how they're looking at each other, retain a lot of the characteristics of the two original images 
and it's decided to put them in the with the background of the second image. So I've played around with this quite a bit. Sometimes it can really blow your mind where it just keeps the character consistency so well in the background image that it's quite amazing. This one's not the best, but it still shows how capable it is. So one of the things about Gemini is it can output text and images together. So you can ask it to describe a scene from a Mars movie, then make an image showing that scene. Okay, so you can see it, it was able to write a description of a scene. This would be really cool for say something like storyboarding and then create an image that describes that scene. Pretty cool stuff. You can also do this for kids' stories as well. So you can say like write a, a three-part story and add an image at each section and it just puts the images in between, which is so cool. I mean, this is something that, you know, it, it really does feel like you're using the future when you play around with this model. Okay, so that's just a quick tour of Gemini 2 Flash Experimental. Just make sure you've got it selected correctly in the model picker when you go to use this capability and uh, and have fun. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool model to play around with. As part of this update, we've also added Imogen 3 into Sim Theory as well. So you can now create images as well with Imogen 3. That's a skill. Um, and then you can switch over to the Gemini 2 Flash Experimental model and make modifications to those images. So you can create images in things like Ideogram and Flux. And then if you have the Gemini 2 Flash Experimental model selected, you'll be able to make modifications to those images as well. So it's a pretty cool feature. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.